according to a report from Politico on Wednesday, even though we still had not had a final vote count. And especially in some house races, we didn't know who the clear winner was. The democratic party, at least democratic members of the house had already started their internal blame game, trying to figure out if it was one of them or if it was somebody else or some other force from inside that caused Democrats to have such an unfortunate election day. And let's be honest, it's still looking like Joe Biden is going to win the presidency. You know, the Democrats did make a net gain in Senate seats. Now they may not have had as many victories as they wanted, certainly not enough to flip the Senate, but they, they had victories, but in the house of representatives, they didn't not one Democrat, not one Democrat beat an incumbent Republican in the house races, 435 across the United States, not one Democrat beat an incumbent Republican. And a couple of Republican challengers did beat some Democratic incumbents. So that's not a good day. Yeah. Democrats retain control of the house. Fantastic. Nancy Pelosi is going to be speaker for another two years, which means we're going to have two years of crap two years of garbage coming out of the house of representatives. And with the Senate being in Republican hands, two years, at least of stalemates of gridlock of all of that, we need new leadership in the democratic house of representatives. Sure. But let's talk about the blame game. What are they blaming? Well, thank God this time they're not blaming Bernie Sanders and Susan Sarandon. They're blaming things like, Oh, the Trump's law and order message actually did resonate with voters in a, you know, because of all the things happening in the country, even though they're not really happening all over the country. It was an impeachment hangover. Listen, I said back in January, by the time the election rolled around, most people in the country will forget that Trump was impeached. Now I couldn't have predicted a pandemic would be the cause of that, but I'm going to go ahead and count that in the things I correctly predicted column, because I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Who actually remembers that Trump was impeached. That seems like an eternity ago. And I guarantee you the people who don't consume politics every day, like us, they had forgotten about that. They truly did. So I don't think it was the impeachment hangover Democrats. I think what it was, was that you had a lot of enthusiasm in this country to get rid of Trump. And that caused people to vote for Biden over Trump, but not even by the biggest margins that you were thinking. Oh, Democrats also blame the faulty polls or to blame. No, you can't blame the polls for people not voting for you. That that's not, that's not reasonable, reasonable or rational at all. That's not what happened. Here's what happened. I'll tell you right now. Nobody likes you. They just don't like the other side more at the moment. That's what it is. You're not actually offering people something better. Now, some Democrats are democratic members of the house who also happen to be members of the squad who did see their numbers expand, by the way, they're offering something for people. They're offering a better future. They're offering a brighter tomorrow. And I know that sounds cliche, but they're doing it because they're offering policies, Medicare for all green, new deal, debt-free college, $15 minimum wage, things like that, real tangible things that will benefit and improve the lives of the average American person and not enrich those at the top. That's a real tangible thing that people actually like and exit polls show that people like those things. The rest of the Democrats, the establishment Democrats, the 30 year incumbent Democrats, nah, they're old. They're set in their ways. They don't care anymore. They've lost touch with voters. That's why you lost. That's why you didn't see another blue wave. You were elected to go in there and actually do something back in 2018 in the real blue wave. You failed. You failed. And yeah, you can chalk some of it up to Republican obstruction. You can chalk some of it up to Donald Trump, but most of it, most of that blame for why you lost, why you didn't get anything done. It's on you. And until you own it and until you look at yourself and realize that that's what happened, you will never learn. And if you never learn, you'll never grow and you'll never get better.